Hey, this is Coach Seiji. Welcome to Verbmoto.com's Factory Fit, presented by Concept2 Rowing and Fitness Anywhere. We're coming at you from Austin, Texas at my personal training studio, Pinnacle Elite Fitness. Stay tuned for some video exercise instruction. What's covered in these videos is the actual technique of every exercise. The load that you use, the number of repetitions, or the number of sets that you do is, is pretty much dependent on what period of training you're in and what your goals are. So these won't be covered in these videos. The exercise we're going to do here is called the hamstring curl. We're going to actually run this exercise single leg. Most exercises we do like to do on a single side so that you don't compensate with your strong side. Uh, the hamstring machines usually have an adjustment that adjusts the angle of your knee at the start position. It's very important that you start with your knee straight but not locked. So you want your knee in that same wobbly position that we had in the, in the uh, leg press and that's your weak point when we're trying to get strong there. So that's the only adjustment you usually need to make on a hamstring curl. If your machine at your gym has an adjustment here for the torso angle, you want to make sure at the starting position that you're relatively straight between your hip and your shoulder. You want to make sure that your feet stay straight throughout the whole movement so that you get strong with your feet in, which is how you want to be in motocross. All right, Jordan, go ahead and curl. Nice, smooth, controlled motion. Nice, smooth, controlled motion on the way down. We're going to do four more, Jordan. See how he keeps his foot straight throughout. You want to exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. You're going to use your abs to keep your pelvis totally stationary. You don't want your pelvis rotating this way. One more, Jordan. Keep all of your body relaxed except for the muscles that you're using. And that's how you perform a single leg hamstring curl. All right, exercise we're doing here is a lat pull. Um, starting position, you want to be pretty much standing or sitting straight up and down. You want your shoulder directly over your hip joint. I'm going to hand Jordan the bar here. You want to start with your hands at the same width as your handlebars on your motorcycle. When you start the motion to bring your elbows down, you want to engage your lats first. So always start engaging the larger muscles first. Go ahead, Jordan. Exhale on the way down. Inhale on the way up. To keep your body straight up and down and your shoulders over your hips, you have to engage your lower abs. So you always want to squeeze those while you're doing this. Nice, slow, controlled motion in both movements. And again, remember, you want to try to engage your lats first on the way down, biceps next. You're going to avoid leaning back to do this exercise. Another thing is when your arms go up, you keep your lats engaged so your shoulders stay down. Jordan, let's go two more. So right here, his shoulders stay down, engaging here first. One more, Jordan. And that's how you do a lap pull.